All right, this is what I use for feeding wires through vehicle firewall grommets. Now they're actually rope feds. So as the pamphlet here says, and this particular brand is uh, Selma rope feds, they're used for splicing ropes, but they're also great for feeding wires through firewalls. So here's a few common vehicle wire sizes. This is um, 6 BNS battery cable, commonly used for um, running powder auxiliary batteries. This is uh, some twin core 3mm, commonly used for you know, wiring up things like wiring lights. This is some single core 3mm, uh, another common vehicle wire used. And this is some uh, twin core wire, this is 50 amp wire. So what I do is I feed it up inside the feed, get a bit of masking tape and give it a good tight wrap so it doesn't come out when it gets pushed through. So cut it off and we push it through the firewall. Okay, I'll give you a bit of a demo on some neoprene rubber. Now the way we feed it through, you know, it's quite large and you're obviously not going to poke a hole just with the tips because they're not very sharp. So what I do is I use uh, a pointer, you can use a scribe, in this case it's just a, uh, a worn down screwdriver that I've sharpened up. So push a hole through the firewall, we then get the feed, spray a bit of lithium lubricant on it so it goes through easy. And then, as you can see here, we just push it through, feed the wire through, put it through the other side, and done. So this is the feed, just push through for the first part. Once we get it in part way, we'll go the other side and pull it through on the other side of the firewall. So this is it from the other side. Get it in here. You can see the feed. Through the wires, and all we can do now is pull the wire through. Easy as that. Hardest part is getting the insulation tape off the feed when you fed it through. And they come in a handy little tube, um, they all stack together in the tube, put the cap on. <clears throat> now I carry these in the vehicle because they're also quite useful if you need to splice a, a winch rope or if you're out on the track and have to splice some rope together. I once used a piece of rope off the boat to make a fan belt for the car when I snapped one miles out of town. Um, I had to re-splice it twice because it wore through but it got me back town where I could get a new uh, get a new fan belt. 